Hey guys, so today I have a pretty exciting video to tell you about, but first of all, I'm going to address the fact that if you can see how burnt I am, I just got back from spring break and I got pretty sunburned. Not good. Don't recommend it. Wear sunscreen, you guys. I wore sunscreen, just didn't apply enough. So, sorry. Anyways, um, today it's going to be my makeup collection because I was looking through videos because I was kind of stumped on some ideas of what I was going to tell you guys about next or share with you guys and I realized that I haven't done a makeup collection since August and so many people have been requesting a new makeup collection especially since I redid my room. If you haven't seen my new room tour I will link it down below as well as my new apartment tour since I figured I was doing all these tours I would just do a makeup collection tour. I don't know, I guess. So um, I hope you girls enjoy it. And basically, I just want to do a little disclaimer. I've been collecting makeup for a while. If you guys have stuck with my channel for a while, this is what I do. This is what I love. So I collect makeup for fun and because I really enjoy trying it out and telling you guys about it. So if you're watching this and you just kind of want to see my makeup collection cool and want to get some organization tips cooler, um, because I think I have pretty good like way of organizing my makeup. I've stayed this way. It's stood the test of time because I've had it this way since like two years now. So I really love it. I change around a couple of different things, but mostly I love my organization a lot. So I want to share it with you guys because I feel like that's kind of something that um, is cool to see how people like organize their makeup collections. So if you have makeup collections, um, leave them as video responses because I love so, watching them. Let's just keep everything civil and yeah, let's just get into the real reason why you want to watch this video, which is my makeup collection. So, cue my collection. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is what my makeup um, organization looks like. It is the Alex um, Six Drawer Organizer from Ikea, and it's $119. I'll, ha $19. I'll have it linked down below. Um, it is considered office organization, not like anything else. So it's just or office organization. It's called Alex. Um, I love this because as you can tell up top, there are shorter drawers and down towards the bottom. The bottom three are a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can tell, but that's how it's organized. It's on little rollies if you want. You can also stack it up. I really love this. Um, I think it's better than the tall skinny one because you can kind of... Um, lay things out and see them more evenly. So up top, I just had, if you guys want to see the rest of my um, room and how this is organized, I will link my room tour down below as well as my apartment tour and whatnot. So um, yeah, I haven't filmed one of these in a while, so everything is pretty much still the same, a little bit different organization, but I just wanted to show you because I haven't filmed one in a while. So up top here, I just have some towels that I like to wipe my hands off if I'm doing makeup on my stand. I have um, some Nielsborn, I don't know why, really random, some tweezers, and some sanitizing makeup brush cleaner that's daily. I also have, from Sephora, and then I also have Sally Hansen airbrush legs, and my smile touch pen thing that I really These like. These jars are from Bath and Body Works, and they're their candle, they're three wick candles, and I just clean them out. There are tons of videos on YouTube where you just stick them in the freezer and then just pop the rest of the wax out. So um, it's really easy and you guys can look that up if you're interested. And then the next one over I have hair ties, bobby pins, scissors, makeup wipes, tissues, scissors, a bunch of random new different things. And then right over here I have a little, um, it's a paper organizer but I have the Naked 1 palette, the Naked 2 palette, and then my customized MAC palette. And then next, next to that I have my glasses and my glasses case and then just a little elephant over there. And then behind there I keep a Hollister bag, I have camera stuff back there, just a bunch of random stuff in the but back. But that is overall what's on top of my makeup desk and then I um, mean my makeup organizer and then over to the left I have my desk where I do my makeup and my mirror and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into the actual organization of my makeup collection. Okay so here is my first drawer and uh, this is one of the shorter of the six. This is where I keep most of my face products. So over here I keep a bunch of different foundations. I have BB creams, I have Chanel Vita Lumiere, um, my Revlon Colorstay, some Origins Vita Zing, Benefit, Laura Mercier, a bunch of tinted moisturizers, stuff like that. And this one right here, I keep a lot of concealers, primers, um, some beauty sponges that I don't really use, so I should probably get rid of those, and my MAC Fix Plus, which is my setting spray that I use all the time. Over here, I'm a little powder crazy, as you can tell. Um, I have a lot of the Milani powders, because I really, really like them, the Multitasker, as well as the Powder Foundation. I have a Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder, some e.l.f. High Definition Powder, Rimmel Stay Mattes, I have some Dream Matte, Age Rewind, bunch of different powders right there. And then over here I keep my e.l.f. Kabuki, which I use every day to apply my powder. 
three beauty blender sponges. Do I need three at one time? No, but I have them. And then a bunch of different samplers um, that's like foundation primers, a bunch of stuff like that just kind of randomly in there. All these little mesh um, bins in there are all from Target and they are in their office selections. So that's the first drawer. This second drawer is all of my eye products. So right over here I have two of the e.l.f. eye lash curlers that I don't use. I need to get new little like pad things because they're kind of like worn out. And then over here I have all of my cream liners. I have Maybelline cream liners. I have Benefit cream liners. I mean cream eyeshadows, not liners, sorry. I have some single NYX shadows right here, um, a L'Oreal one, I have some MAC, and then I have some, um, these are just Revlon cream shadows, and then I have also some gel liners back there from e.l.f. I have a bunch of single eyeshadows and quads and stuff like that, all from the drugstore right here. I have some um, hard candy, I have a Stila, a bunch of e.l.f. singles, a lot of Wet n Wild, some Maybelline CoverGirl, um, and then some Lancome and stuff like that right in there. And then over here is my favorite because I'm a mascara junkie. I have a ton of mascaras. This goes all the way back. Um, and then I also have Urban Decay primer potions and stuff like that. And then right over here next to that I have in this first little one right here I keep a gel liner that I use pretty much every day. It's the Maybelline Eye Studios one. And then I keep two of my um, favorite brow products which is the Anastasia Brow and the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit that I love. And then back here I keep um, some liners. So liquid liners, pencil liners, all that kind of stuff. Some Q-tips and a little bit of eye makeup remover in case I make any mistakes. So that is my eye drawer. So mascaras and eyeshadow and all that fun stuff. This next drawer is probably the prettiest to look at, but I use it the least, and it is my lip product. So over here I have a bunch of the Revlon lip butters. I'm pretty sure I have a good amount. I have like two, four, six, eight, ten. I think there's around 14 or something. I have 10. I have some of the um, L'Oreal Color Reach Bombs. I love those. They're super hydrating. I have some Maybelline Vivids with a red, MAC, um, CoverGirl. L'Oreal, one of their Maybelline Color Whispers, some baby lips, and some of the Revlon Color um, Kiss Bowl Balm Stains. And then over here I have a bunch of the e.l.f. Glossy Glosses, which are my favorite. Um, I have some Revlon Lip Glosses, Stila Lip Glazes, Benefit, NYX, Palladio, which is the 11th Gorgeous one, which I love that. Um, I have some lip stains, some e.l.f., MAC, a bunch of different lip products, Buxom, stuff like that. Over in this little thing right here, I have a bunch of little samples, lip stains, and little samples from Sephora. And I have two of the MAC Tender Tones, one in Purring and one in um, Hush Hush. I have two of the e.l.f. Conditioning Lip Balms, which I really, really like. I have a L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm thing in Succulent, which I need to get rid of because it is way over expired, I'm sure. I have a Cora's Lip Butter in the color Pomegranate, and then I have a bunch of Squeezy Tubes. So I really like the L'Oreal Le Glosses, and then I have Neutrogena. Um, Cora's, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, a bunch of different stuff like that. So that is all of my lip products. So in this drawer, I keep all of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So um, how I have this arranged is I keep a bunch of samples and small things over here. Those are sample highlighters, sample blushes, and then I have a high beam and stuff like that, which is full size. I have a L'Oreal blush back there. I have some of the Benefit box powder brushes right there. Um, these are all e.l.f. single blushes. I have some Wet n Wild ones, Hard Candy, and then L'Oreal and Maybelline back there. In this one right here, I have my Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer and Tiki. It's my favorite highlighter of all time. I have an e.l.f. Um, I mean an Eco Tools bronzing kabuki brush. I have some e.l.f. highlighters back there, which are actually warm bronzers, but I use them as highlighters. Um, I have a Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush, cream blushes from e.l.f., from Sonia Kashuk, Maybelline, and then some of the Maybelline Dream Bouncy blushes back there. I have a Bare Minerals um, bronzer right there. I have some more of my bronzers. I have a Physicians Formula NYC, two e.l.f.s, and Hoola. I have some Rimmel blushes right there in the front, and then I have all those are NARS, and then MAC, and then Benefit are back there. So that is my blush, bronzer, and highlighter drawer. Okay, and moving down to the next drawer, I keep palettes right here. So I have a bunch of the BH Cosmetic 100, 120 palettes, the 10 color blushes right there. I have an Urban Decay um, Anniversary Book of Shadows. I have some e.l.f. back there as well as some eyebrow brushes, eyebrow palette. I have a bunch of lotions right here, so um, a lot of Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. And I also keep some car scent things right in there. I have some empty Back to Lushes and Back to Max that I have back there. And then just some makeup bags. 
Okay, and then last but not least, this drawer is definitely overflowing, and if I get any more, I will have to move it up to the drawer above it. But this is my nail polish collection. So over here, I have it all organized by OPI and China Glaces. Then these are all Essies, and then these are all Revlon and um, Sally Hansen, and then these are some minis with some e.l.f. and randomy stuff. Then I keep in this My Glam bag, I keep my nail products like tools and stuff like that. I have some nail polish removers, and yeah, that's about all I keep in that drawer. As you can tell, I am obsessed with nail polish. So, yep, that is my makeup collection. I hope you all enjoyed watching it, and leave your video responses of your makeup collections down below because I love watching them, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.